Hello, this is Bevan Barrow Collector. Here's my first PSA return. So I did record a previous video of them raw and I went over it, but I just realized, and that was back in end of May, I just realized I recorded that vertically. So it's gonna be a challenge to upload it. I'll see what I can do. Hopefully you'll see in the video, if not, um, I'll just go over it quickly today. I don't want this to be super long. I just, and we just have 11 cards and uh, we're some OCG, as you can see here already. There's some Pokemon and then there's just some English modern cards. They're all modern except for one that did pretty bad because most likely of a greater, which is what happened basically in the whole submission that I used through a middleman and i'll just get started i guess go over it very quickly so i just put it aside so i created this set of uh, god cards from the prismatic god box one pgb1 is the name of the set i had them i bought them sealed uh, from an english collector i think it was over a year ago I bought the three of them on eBay and they all got um, a 10. Again, they were sealed. Uh, they're consecutive certs, which is nice. And these I had, um, I have a guy interest and I might make the deal today as of when I'm recording this. So again, very nice. That's the first printing of the God cards in, so it's technically called Prismatic Secret Rail. Um, it's not starlight, but still that's the first print of them and that's from 2020. So at, at this point it's already three years old, which is so another OCG card, which is this Turtleman's Kit Clus, um, which I pulled myself from uh, part of the elements uh, Japanese box that I bought on Amazon. And that was pretty fun. I have the video is here on my channel. I'll link it up. You should be able to see it. Um, it was it was fun. It was fun. And this got a 10 as well. OCG card stock. So not surprised. Uh, all the cards apart from Pokemon cards. And then another one that I'll show you are for sale. And uh, you can find them on, on my eBay. I'll leave the link in the description of the video. So that's that's it for uh, Japanese cards. Then uh, let's see what we have. Oh, that's a, a big one. That's obviously a Starlight Stardust from Dawn of Majesty. This got an eight, I was expecting an eight. Um, it's massively off center. It's all shifted left and down. But again, pretty card, stunning. And it's European. All the English cards this year are um, Euro print and I uh, did have some widening on the corners to go for your corners. EU Starlights are, in my opinion, better looking that NA. They're a bit darker. I like them better, but I guess it depends. So this got an 8. I was concerned it would have gotten less than an 8 and at that point it would have been pretty bad. But got an 8, again, this for, for sale as well. And then um, here, the Dark Magician, which I pulled myself uh, back in, it was February of 2022 when this set first came out. Uh, me and my friend got a, I mean, I got a case and we opened it. This is also on the channel and it was pretty fun. We got this on the last, last box. I was already desperate because we didn't find a starlight. Unfortunately, this just got a nine and it's, it's I would say pretty, it has some pretty good centering for being EU print. And unfortunately, it just had some, let me just get rid of the dust. It just had minor whitening, as you can see here. Um, maybe, um, not even, so just minor whitening. This, this is perfect. And uh, some minor whitening here. So this is a very good nine. Again, this is also European, as you can probably tell by the darker colors. So it kind of, this goes along well, in my opinion, with 
the new uh, magicians of bonds and unity it's basically you know dark magician girl and dark magician so this is kind of like the can i say the first printing of the card i don't think it's correct but and plus this is not a quarter century rare but it's an actual starlight rare so even much harder to pull and I, I saw now that rail prices are basically the same um, this goes for around 150 and I believe the Dark Magicians I mean the Magicians Bonds and Unity go for around that price as well so um, that's kind of interesting I guess they I mean it's that card was made for collectors um, this also because of the rarity I guess it's made for collectors but uh, this is much harder to pull and I was lucky enough to pull it and um, I think it's pretty underrated um, I think if for the right offer I, I'll sell it um, but you, you'll find a list on my eBay as well even though my first big pull after getting back in the game so I don't know so in this also I pull this guy pulled them all um, sphere mode it's got a nine was expecting it um, hall is really clean just euro corners uh, but again a strong nine this and uh, this also um, I have a deal going on which we'll see if if it I'll sell it by today and uh, just nice card not crazy expensive in a nine um, nor raw but still pretty good card and then blue eyes ultimate dragon this has some black dots in here oh there you go you can see them there so and uh era corner so this also nine i would i wouldn't call it as strong as the rob but still i would consider it also nine a good nine and this also is part of the deal if, if I don't sell me, you just find on my email still. This I think I'm gonna keep, and to be honest, this here, I'm not sure if it's on the card on, or on the case. It seems to be on the card, but it wasn't there before grading. Nonetheless, you got a nine, and uh, it deserved a nine, uh, in my opinion. It's a good nine, but not a 10, but these two here they seem to be on the card or they're on the inside of the case but seem more on the card and uh, a video of this raw maybe i'll pop it up right now and uh it wasn't it wasn't there so that's kind of unfortunate uh, but i mean i this i'm going to keep because of how it looks let's see if we can get the right angle you can see the the red of uh, the arch fin kind of here goes here it goes a bit um, you'll find pictures on my instagram which is also by battery collector so go follow me there but this looks real sick and it's technically the highest rarity of this card because in the duelist genesis is all it, it all got printed as an ulti as the highest grade and again this is also your print i pulled it on video Moving on, let's do our Pokemon. That's Giratina V from um, Lost Origin. And this got a nine because it's it's it's, it's a bit off center, uh, as you can see, as you can tell prob probably. Um, nonetheless, stunning card, flawless, uh, both on the front and on the back. Um, I knew it was gonna get a nine because of the center, but still, I saw that um, price increased uh, tends to go for around 700 to 800 that range and I've seen nines now go for over 300 around 320 to 350 I bought these two I'm gonna show you this actually this is a rate clause of VMAX from uh, evolving skies this I was actually hoping for a 10 centering is good it's basically flawless the only thing, maybe that's why I got a nine, is this pink hickey from the printer. But unfortunately, that's not up to me. Um, other than that, flawless card, 
might have gotten a, a, a 10 on a, another uh, another day but it's 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 a really good card these two i got from a guy at my town's car show which is in october so i'm gonna be i'm gonna be there this october upcoming october and uh, I, I think i'll bring these and hopefully the guy will still be there so i'll, sh I'll show them i think he'll be happy we were looking for tents but still and then last but not least actually during oh yeah that's <laughs> kind of the worst card of this mission even though it's the only one um uh, along with the pokemon that i'm not selling because of nostalgia i remember this especially from the tin in 2007 and i remember that it just um you know like 3000 and it didn't have many stars at the time where like I would get super excited for uh, the number of stars that a card had and the attack obviously just as mainly as all kits so i i mainly grew up with the gx era which is why i have some pretty good uh, some pretty s cards uh, coming up for both the channel but mainly my my instagram um, from the gx era and uh yeah this got a five the whole all the ultimate in the submission got like five four and six um we believe it's mainly because of the ulti stamp that was pretty heavy on all of them and uh, most likely the graders weren't used to it uh, it it did have some lightning but i don't think this justifies a five I was, I mean, I was expecting like a seven, an eight on a good day, but a seven realistically, uh, because it's flawless. It was flawless. I have a video of it raw, but just appreciate the artwork. And uh, for being a GX cover card, I think it's highly underrated as I got this raw for a hundred euros shipped. And uh, still in a PSA seven or eight, it goes for around hundred. 50 under 30, I guess. Yeah, a five is unfortunate. I don't think it deserved a five. I don't know if I'm gonna resubmit it, perhaps in the next one, but um, I'm just, I, I don't think so as I'm gonna keep it in my collection um, just to look at it. I know it's not super valuable, so I just, just wanted it for the look of it. So I think that was about it again. You'll find all the cards that I have for sale listed on my eBay. The link is in the description. And uh, hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like. I know I don't post much on the channel, but you'll find a lot more on my Instagram. So go follow me. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.